This is for both sides of the monument, the 99 and the 82nd Air Force. I'd like to uh, give the floor, frozen and snowy as it is, I would like to give the floor to Mr. Ed Lepofsky, officer of the U.S. Army, former paratrooper, former special forces, highly decorated in different theaters. He's the president of the C-47 Club, who took the initiative to get the flag here, and I'll ask Ed to say the words that he would like to direct you. Ed, may I invite you? Mr. Mayor, Mr. Burgermeister, uh, the award in uh, nation families, ladies and gentlemen. Seventy years ago, the ground we stood on, we stand on, was a battlefield. We are here today to honor and remember those who fought and died. This place of battle has all places of ba battle do produced many acts of bravery, courage, and sacrifice. One of the most gallant actions fought on this hill on December 16, 1944. Lieutenant Lyle Balk and his gallant men defended here and repelled three direct frontal assaults until they ran out of ammunition, became encircled, and were forced to surrender. The fighting raged all day, 10 hours. They were awarded by the United States Army the Presidential Unit Citation for Extraordinary Heroism and became the most decorated unit for a single combat action in World War II. Bravery, courage, and sacrifice were the order of the day for these men. During the Ardennes counteroffensive on January 3rd, the 82nd pushed off and again Lanzarote became a battlefield as the 82nd Airborne Division 508th Parachute Infantry Regiment was given the mission to liberate this village. We are here to remember their bravery, courage, and sacrifice. We are here to remember the ultimate sacrifice of Private Glenn Ward and Captain Bill Nation, <coughs> paratroopers of the 508, and to be with their families who are here with us today. Glenn Ward and Bill Nation died to free others. They died so we can stand here together in freedom. A remembrance plaque to the 82nd Airborne Division and its 508 Parachute Infantry Regiment is a fitting tribute to such men. The 82nd Airborne Division is grateful to be able to share this monument with the 99th Infantry Division. As the two divisions stood shoulder to shoulder in 1944 and 1945, they now stand side by side at this monument. This is a great day for them and a great day for us. We must not forget that our duty is to remember. As I close out my remarks, I thank you. May God bless us and the peoples of Belgium and the United States.